right, working in Microsoft Access, you're going to come across various data types. Each field can hold a specific type of information. And I'm going to go through these data types with you now. Let's have a look at the various data types you get in Microsoft Access. We've got short text, long text, number, auto number, a yes no field, an OLE object. OLE means object linking and embedding, an attachment, a lookup wizard, a hyperlink, currency, date and time. So let's see short text. Short text basically is just short text. So names, phone numbers, surnames, street addresses, anything that's a, a sentence long is short text. So the description, text or combinations of text and numbers, including numbers that do not require calculating. Long text description, lengthy text or combinations of text and numbers. So this is like paragraphs, memo type things, you know, almost a, a lot of information. So it could be a whole description on something. A number, well, it's just a number. Anything that doesn't start with a zero. Date and time, date and time values for the years 100. Wow, that's a long time ago. Through to 9999. We got some time. We got some time, and that could be in different formats as well. So there you go. There's my birthday, hint hint, and uh, another way of writing a date. There we go. Auto number, a unique sequential incremented by one number or random number assigned by Microsoft Access whenever a new record is added to a table. So just to explain that, like I've said before, every record in a database must be unique. So when you create a new record, Access adds a new number to that record to make it unique. And it's automatically incremented by one with each record that you create. A yes or no field. These are yes or no values and fields that contain only one of two values. So it could be yes or no, True or false, on or off, ones or zeros. Okay, so absent, present, applicable, not applicable. So either it's on or it's off, either it's yes or it's no. And that's normally represented by a little checkbox on the screen. Currency, any numeric data that needs to be formatted as currency. We have a currency field just for that. And of course, it has up to four decimal places. I've only ever used two, but hey. An OLE object. You will probably use some of these. An OLE object can store pictures, audio, and video. All right, so it's actual uh, a video file, a video clip embedded on the page. It plays when you click on it, something like that, okay, or in the, the record. An attachment, similar to object linking and embedding, but this is linking to a file, a photograph, and you can have multiple attachments for one record. A lookup wizard. Basically, a lookup wizard, a simple lookup field that uses the contents of another table or a list, a value list, to validate the contents of a single value per row. That's just a drop down list of options, and you can click on a drop down list. And the drop down list can either be a list that you've created for that field, or it can be looking up that list somewhere else. Very similar to data validation in Excel. A hyperlink, well, it does what it says on the tin. It's a uh, text or combinations of text and numbers stored as text and used as a hyperlink address. So a web address, an email address, anything that will become clickable to take you somewhere or to cause an action such as sending an email.